Today we're going to build the DIY Canadian coin bank with the DIY bear. I'm going to start by, of course, every DIY cardboard kit. I've already popped out every piece, windows, so we're ready to go. Our first piece has the bend. You're going to bend the piece up and the bend goes to the back, to the bottom. You're going to grab your first side piece. The glue gun is required for this. You're going to put a small bead of glue all the way down. And hold your piece. I usually count A, B, C, D, gift, and it's ready. We're going to be having an art contest, which all the details will be online. The art contest will be $25, and that will include the DIY coin bank. And we will be giving prize prizes to our categories on ages. So don't worry, the, the little kids and the adults will both be separated so everybody will have a chance to win some cardboard prizes. Regularly this is $17.99 at CardboardWorld.com and A, B, C, D gift. And we're ready. Once you have your both sides on, you want to just put that on the side. Now there's two pieces. One has your slots and one doesn't. On both sides they'll fold. You want to fold them in. The small tab is going to come in first and then you're going to put the sides up. So you want to glue both sides. And remember the small tab first. And to the other side. This Canadian coin bank is very popular. The kids like to paint them. You can use marker or paint. All right. Now the next piece, the same thing, the grooves. But make sure the slots are lined up there. Your piece in the middle, same process as the other piece and glue both sides. How are we doing, Bear? Oh, it doesn't talk. Now this box can sit on the side. You have two pieces. They're the longest pieces with the bend in the middle. You're going to fold these pieces in half and apply glue and stick them together. These are going to go in the corner of the coin box. There's two without the slots. You're going to put this little, not with the slots. You're going to put them in the corner. So I apply a bit of glue on before I put it in. And I've gone ahead and I've already pre-glued this next piece. Same way, put it on the other side. And this provides your other piece to sit on top so it's easier to pull in and out. Now you have four little pieces. These pieces you can either glue in or just put them in. I recommend putting just a small bead of glue and line up in all the slots. This coin bank, when finished, can be used to help children count coins as 
It helps them sort them, recognize which coin is falling into the slots. Okay, so now we're gonna take the coin box and we're gonna place it inside. And we're going to take another the piece of the roof, or you can use your piece that you popped out. I'm just going to place the middle piece on top so that it's up, and you're going to grab the front piece of the coin box. And you're going to apply a small bead of glue. Just make sure that when you're putting it on, you have it up so that it will line up with the house. As you can see, there's just the amount, the same spacer as one piece. Now there's two bears. If you glue the bears together, these bears are used to pull out the drawer in there's a dot in the middle, you can just line those up. And now the roof. The front of the house for the bear, you're going to use the one without the slots first. And you're going to apply glue down the roof. And line up the top of your cardboard. And the lines to the top of the house. And repeat the same thing on the other side. And just make sure before you get too far that your coin drawer will pull out. As long as you line up the tops, it should pull out nicely. But if you glue it on and it doesn't pull out, you'll have to remove the lid, the roof, and do it again. Now there's a hockey piece, hockey stick. You want to glue this together, the bend. Bend and glue. Now there's two lines on the roof. And you want to line those lines up. We're going to line those lines up. I just have to put a little more glue on mine. And good. I think I put it on backwards. Now if you've done that, good thing is it's just glue. So, making a mistake Pulling the glue off is quite easy. The cardboard doesn't even rip, as we have very good quality, equal friendly cardboard. Like I've ripped the cardboard off and your glue comes off. So don't worry about it if you make a mistake. Now you want to have the bigger hole lined up at the bottom. And then apply glue on your stick. And there is two lines there. You can kind of see you want to put just on those lines. And make sure your stick is all the way glued up, glued together. As the coin has to slide down the stick. Now for your roof piece, there's two more pieces you have to bend, the same as the ones you put in the drawer, and glue them together. 
Now you want to put, there's two pieces, there's a short and a longer piece. You want to make sure your longer piece is on the outside. So I take the piece, I line it up, and I flip it down. So the outer edge is going to get the long piece along the edge. And if you do that wrong on the other side, the coin will not not be able to slide down. And the other side is going to have the small piece. And just glue that. Okay, lines up. Now there's a back piece. You want to just glue that on top. And this is going to be lined up at the top so that it sits on top of your roof. And that's going to sit just on top on the outer edge. Now there's pieces, bowling pins, K and flag can be glued onto here or wherever you wish. Your decorations is completely up to you. And when it's all said and done, it should be, I took this off with a little bit of glue and you should organize all your coins in all the slots. Make sure you subscribe and like to the channel so you get all the cardboard crafts. And this is our finished product. Take your time. As I was trying to get the video done a little quick, but if you take your time, you can look real nice. So you're gonna paint that up for the art contest and send us a picture back. And we'll post it on their website and we'll, all the details are at www.cardboardroll.com.